Hello and welcome to this week's video. Today we're looking at Trello. Trello is a collaborative space, online space, that you can use for organizing teams. So we're going to walk through all of the functions that are available on it. So first off, we just go back to the home page of Trello. You can see you can create boards there. So you've got a space for personal boards, a space for team boards. So team boards, you can invite members of people uh, members of your teaching team or students to, to collaborate on them on personal boards are just for you. So we're going to dive into this board that I've already created. And the first thing you can do with a board is you can add a list. So we've got a title there. And then having added your list, you can add a card. And that's just a piece of text. So or it could be a link. So let's put just my name in there for the purposes of this and click add. If you then double click on the card, you can add different things. So we can add a description in more detail. We could also paste in a link. Um, it's possible for people to comment. I could comment, I can add an attachment. I can mention a member within who, who one of my collaborators. I can add an emoji and I can add an additional card. I can also look at the activity on that particular card to see what other colleagues have been doing. It's possible to add labels. You can see I've created an urgent label there. So you can add different labels so colleagues know what's happening. You can also add a checklist. And you can see it gives you a progression bar of how far. You can set it a completion date. And you can add an attachment. Now there's a power up function. I think you're allowed one power up on the free account. So I've linked to my Google Drive. But on the paid account, there's lots of other power up features that expand the usability of Trello. And then once you've got your, your lists, you can drag them around, so you can reorder them. You can also do the same with your cards, so you can move your cards from list to list. So I've used it for planning learning. I think it's a great way to organize and collaborate on creating a scheme of learning. It could be used as a way of you organizing your resources or just for a, a simple to-do list in relating to the various tasks you've got on. So really nice, easy functions to use. Just to go up here, so if you go to the plus, you can create a board, create a team. If you go to show menu, you've got the ability to change the background color. So there's a range of choices, or you could add a photo. You can filter the cards depending on a particular label, if you want to prioritize things. And as I mentioned earlier, you've got the power up options. So if you go for the paid account, then there's things that you can add there. So there's various things that you can add to add functionality. So it's a really richly featured application. And then there's also the option of adding some, some stickers, uh, a bit of fun and a way of, again, communicating progress on a particular project you're working on. And then finally, we've got the ability to share that link. So you could send that link to someone if you were working on a board. You can also print and export the board. So there you have it, really useful collaborative tool. I can see it being used as I say for lesson planning, for organizing resources, to-do lists, um, uh, and you could either even provide it with, with resources that students could access. So I uh, hope you found the video useful. If you liked it, please remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon. Thanks for watching.